what's our next shortcut number 10 and shortcut number 10 is quickly create an array to use in a formula hmm. quickly create an array what's an array um when we do a vlookup for example and we highlight a table we we'll say okay we look up this in this and return that that table we are highlighting is called an array so there are some times that you you don't want to keep on looking for the table you want a permanent table to look up you can actually create a permanent table with this trick so quickly create an array for use in a formula let's see how that trick works so month in the year uh january to december let's do that january to december all right now and I want to know, okay, which month? January is month one, month two, month three. So it's January month, January is month one, month two, month three. Normally I would do a VLOOKUP like this. Let me just highlight. I want to know, okay, what month is the month of um, April, APR? So I want to do what month is APR? You do your typical equals to VLOOKUP, APR in this table. We look up APR in this table, which I'll lock with F4, comma two, comma zero. That gives me four, which is fine. April is four. But why don't we just take this whole table and put the whole thing into a formula? So we don't need to always have this table. This table is automated. So to do that automation of this table or to kind of extract this table all into the formula, you do equals to in, in a cell and you highlight your table. When you should just do equals to and highlight a table and enter, it will give you an error, which is fine. Because when you press F2 and F9, it breaks down that thing you highlighted into text, into an array. So here you can see Jan 1, Feb 2, March 3. So there's some tables that will never change. They're just standard tables. You can actually break them down into an array like I've just done here. How did I do that? I simply did equals to, highlighted the table, enter you can go back to the cell and press f2 and then f9 f9 breaks it up f9 and then once you do that you control c you copy that formula once you copy it you can now go into vlookup and in your vlookup you can say hey i'm looking for this cell i'm looking for it in a table but the table is going to be control v and just pasting your entire array that thing you broke down you're pasting it in there and they're saying give me column two or give me zero. So once you do that, you get the same four, but guess what? This four doesn't need this table anymore. You don't need this table. So this first formula will not work, but this second one works. And look at it, it looks ugly, but you basically extracted the whole table, broken it down and put it into a formula. And there's some tables that you have that you don't need to like your regions or markets or stores or stuff like that. You can just break it all down and put it into a formula. That's how you create arrays. That's how you create arrays. Okay, so that was that shortcut. Thanks for watching another training video from Deep Brown Consulting. See you in the next video.